And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Thank Dixon. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Newport County, and they face AFC Wimbledon. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. So the initial 11 for the home side. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And very deftly cut out. A chance maybe from the wide position. What can he do from here? And he's clear his lines. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. For Leon. Dimitriou. But he was in the right place to intercept. They've given it away. And the emphasis is on creativity. It's driven in low. Not messing around with that clearance. Thank you. Well, possession seeded. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for the visitors. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McInerney with his finger on the pulse. This looks promising. Tremendous ball played through. And they could do damage. The net is steering him in the face. Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Over it comes. Fruitful looking attack. Well, body in the way. Doughty defending to win the ball back. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 22 minutes played. 1 0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. This could be an interesting avenue. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Dangerous looking attack. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed on pen. The ref didn't know. And he takes it on. And putting his body on the line. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Stevenage. 29 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. He's got space. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is.
might be able to get in behind the defence. And the defender takes care of business. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Staunch rear guard action. It's there for him. Whatever it takes to keep them out. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for the visitors. It's been scored by Adam Rooney. That's his second today. A great run, ghosting in behind the defence and showing great close control to take the ball around the keeper. 35 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Can they convert? And thumped away. Jennings. An attack full of promise. And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. Couldn't keep it. Crossing possibilities. Well, clattered away. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. The crowd is sensing momentum is with them. They've created chance after chance. Can they capitalise here? And it's played into the centre. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bristol Rovers. 49 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Straight down the throat of the opposition. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Now you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Are they going to forge ahead? An important. Well, that is not an example of how to chip accurately. Well, sometimes, Gary, you can be too clever. And he was trying to be too clever there. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Given away. Will it be? Beautifully struck and foiled only by the post league. Well, how close can he get? He's three inches away from scoring. And given away. No real threat, you've got to say. And offside it is. Haynes. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a third goal for the visitors. 59 minutes played, 3-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Shot attempted. Tremendous block. Apia. 
Well, the counter chance looks very real. It's opening up for them. Jennings. Well, he's almost been hassled out of... Play here. Substitution time it is. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Strong play here. And they will be awarded. A free kick for that. Must score! Still possibilities. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who's it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Crew Alexandra. 70 minutes played, 1 1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Well, look at the stats. Very, very close. What do you do? Do you keep what you've got or do you go for the spoils? Far from a good pass. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. 15 minutes remaining. A chance maybe from the wide position. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Promising-looking ball. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. And that was a very fine read. And now, passing it through! Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. And the official had no option but to reach for the red card. He decided it was a goal-scoring opportunity denied, Lee. Absolutely. No decision to be made, really. The card was out pretty quickly. And the goalkeeper not offering any scraps that time. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally? It's a second goal for Stevenage. Eight minutes remain. 2-1. Many thanks, Alan. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Well, they have the goalkeeper to thank for the fact that this game is still level. Well, they can never drop their concentration, goalkeepers. They can never have a rest. It's a brilliant stop at this stage in the game. 
We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fine in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And there's the feed into the box. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Manoeuvring his way forward. It's a cross towards the near post. Punched away. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Played into the centre of the box. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Sanders. Superbly read and executed. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? That's it, the referee brings the action to an end. 